Welcome back to another episode of Black Caution. I am Joshua Washington, and as always, I want to invite you all to participate in this real conversation that the fellas are having, all right? So with no further ado, let's get into it. Black Caution. All right, welcome back to another episode of Black Caution. Hopefully you've been tracking along with us. I got the fellas with me here for an extended conversation around all topics. We've been having a lot of fun. Uh, so to reintroduce, I'm gonna go from this side. I got my boy Ron in the building, Rambo, Mello, and my boy T, and we're here just having a conversation, real men having real conversation, uh, because that's what Black Caution is all about, all right? So for this segment, somebody I did not introduce yet to the show, is my man right here beside me, who I like to call Fred. Y'all say what's up to Fred. What up, Fred? Yeah. What's going on? Listen, what's up, Fred? Fred, 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 listen, Fred is rocking the $9 Amazon uh, B for Black Caution. Oh, man, right? you had to put him out like that. You <laughs> had to put so, him out like that. So, Fred, listen, Fred's whole role here is he got some questions for y'all. All right? Fred got some questions. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this around here. And um, this segment, we're going to spend some time. Some of y'all look scared. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little nervous, some, man. We're going to spend some time. Answering some questions from Fred. All right, y'all ready? Yes, sir. I'm gonna pass this bad boy to Mello first. Okay, let's do it. Man. That'll open up the jaw. Let's see. Let's all see right. the question Ooh, that Fred got. Just for mix us. this oh, thing, yeah, mix that thing yeah. up a little let's bit. Let's see what Fred talking about. Let's see. Let's see. Everybody got a Fred in their family, right. bro. And Fred always got questions. All right. All right. What's the question, Fred? All right. Let's see what Fred talking about here. Dating outside the community, is that off limits? Fred yes. wants to know. <laughs> wait, wait, yes? Yes. Okay, why? If she can't use your comb, don't bring her home. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like Fred had mixed feelings with that question. You know what I'm saying? Mixed feelings. Mixed feelings? What y'all think? Ron, Ron I want to know. You hurting? Because why, why? you going to stay within the community? That's a problem for you? No, that's not a problem, but I was always told, if she can't use your comb, don't bring her home. Oh, wait, wait, who told you that? My grandma. Wow. Your grandma, OG. <laughs> yeah, that's, she was just wow. all. But they never seen it though, so. But, they love, is, but love is love. Mm? Love is love. Love is blind too. Mm. What that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! You said the whole. That's, that's not what Kevin Hart said. If you ever want to mess up an argument, yeah. just say something. Leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> love is blind too, and they walk out. Just walk out there. That was yeah. it. All right, all right. What? What y'all think? But I, I agree with you, brother. Love is, elaborate on that. Love is love. Like, it don't have a color. So, okay. you know, you can't stop somebody from who they love or who they want to be with. But we, let's be honest, though. Some of it is historic. Oh, absolutely. Some yeah. of it is rooted in some historical feelings. Like, I'll tell you, when I, my cousin and I, we'd be outside playing basketball. There's one time in particular, we were outside playing basketball, and... I think I was winning, right? And my and my he, grandmother, he thank you, he she, thank I think you, I was bro. winning. I was, I'm up, right? I'm about to end the game. My grandmother come out the door and say, "Yeah, y'all get in this house. I want you to watch this." I'm like, "Really, bro? In the middle of the game? We go inside the house, bro. She had Oprah on TV, and what she wants to sit down and watch? There was this black man, black young man on on the show who had been accused by this white woman of rape, right? And she was lying. She was lying on him." And she had us sit there and watch the whole two-hour segment just so just to tell us, be careful with white women. Mm. And that's and that's not, I mean, I don't think it's anything racial. I think she just knew Emmett Till. She knew the stories of young black men who maybe even, you know, whistled at a white woman and got lynched. Yeah. So she brought us all, all the way in the house for two whole hours as young teenage boys, just to tell us, yo, watch them yeah, white women. So to, to to Ron's point, that's why his grandmother might have told him if she can't use your comb, don't bring her home, don't bring her up in here. 
Yeah. What you think? But I also think it's, it's a cultural thing, too, because in the Haitian household, right, there's certain traditional things that they do that if you bring somebody from the outside in, that person might disrespect the tradition. Okay. Mm. So it's all about protecting, like, Haitian women cooking for their husband. The husband getting served first. What's she yeah. cooking? What's she you cooking? You know, I mean, she's some D blanc yeah. or some sauce yeah, yeah. or pacole, <laughs> you know, Jean Jean. Yeah. Everybody knows Jean Jean. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, so, so like, you know, oh, yeah. it's always good to have, to understand the healthy part of being within the community. How do I say it? You don't have to uh, uh, explain the culture ah, sure. to yeah. the person. You, you just integrate just the way it is. So if you had a Haitian wedding and compa is the thing, yeah. but you're married to someone, let's just say, um, Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Kelly. <laughs> if you marry, if you married to Kelly. what's his name? Kelly. Kelly. Uh, yeah. Or Kelly Fred. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, yeah. and he can't dance compa. Yeah. Wait, wait like, you said wait, you said Kelly, and you said he can't dance compa. Like, I, I got you. you if he can't, can't, if he oh, can't, yeah. oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, whatever. I mean, that's a, that's, I seen somebody named Kelly, a guy too. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Okay, but yeah. at the end of the day, he can't dance compa, or he don't like the pickles, or he don't like the griot, you know, or the sauce pois does it. I got you. That that person can lose that tradition, right. or even that child speaking Creole is huge. See, but see, see, so I so I I agree one hundred percent with that. I also agree with, with, with what T was saying about hey, look, love love is love, right? And, you know, but the one thing I will say is because you know, hey, I'm, I'm pastoring a multi ethnic church, so I believe that hey, listen, whatever race, whatever you know, ethnic groups you're attracted to, man, go for it. Um, at the same time, I think there is a bit of um, injustice, if you will. Uh, maybe that's a strong word, but even towards our... That's the right word, Pastor. Yeah, even towards <laughs> our black women. Yeah. And this is not an indictment on anyone who, who, marry, who does not marry a black woman. But I think w w when you got the angry black woman narrative out there and you have, you know, uh, just different uh, perspectives like, like, you know, lighter hue is better, fairer skin, mm. um, it affects... How our black women mm. and, and even black men are not as attracted to people with darker skin. So for me, although I feel like what my brother said, man, love is love. I agree with that 100 percent. So marry who you going to marry. But let's just make sure for our brothers that the reason why we might not be as attracted to people in our community is not because um, we believe the lie of, of kind of media and movies and things like that. that is it the bonnet that? Is it the bonnet that makes? Is it the bonnet? Is it, the bonnet? Is it, is it the bonnet that makes you want to go outside? <laughs> no, but don't get me wrong though. I love black women. Black women is that's all that I've been around. That's all that's been taught me. Pretty much everything I know. Mm -hmm. But to his point, like you said earlier with the interview uh, part, you got to make sure they participate in that stuff before you get married. So you already know. Yeah. So you already know those triggers, those stresses that they dislike. So they, after that, you can just cancel them out. Sure. You just have to move on. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, but I think to that point, and we'll move on with uh, Fred, some more questions from Fred, but I'll, I'll close this round with this. My grandmother, actually, who was the one that taught me, she, she set the standard for what my future wife is going to be. And my wife is Puerto Rican. But my people will ask me, how did you end up marrying Puerto Rican? And really, I was just looking for the woman that had the closest character to my grandmother. Mm -hmm. She could have been black, blue, green. It wouldn't matter to sure, me. Sure, sure, sure. But I knew it was that moment when I took my wife, my grandmother was still alive. I took my then girlfriend home. And that was the first woman my, my grandmother was like, yep, that, that's it. That's her. Puerto Rican that, that's is her. Black. Puerto Rican is black, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, to be Puerto honest. Puerto Rican is black. Yeah, kind of <laughs> so you ain't technically yeah, outside listen, the race. Listen, listen. You ain't feel. Uh, so listen. you ain't out there now. Yeah. Hey, yeah. like you said, you had a carry. Yeah. <laughs> a carry. <laughs> really? Yeah. No, you good. Listen, listen, listen. I, I'm, I'm going to leave that alone because a lot, a lot of our black women don't feel that way. But we're going to yeah. move on. All right, another question for Fred. Pass that thing around, bro. Oh, he go, bro. Another question for Fred. You got questions? I think I done snuck a scene. Oh, you saw him already? That, that, one, too, that, that one too long. Okay. What impact is pornography have on men? And the family structure. It'll, ah. it'll tear down the house. It will tear it yeah. down. Why though? Why? Like I said, the first time I learned sex was through a cassette. And that was porn. I mean, I... <laughs> why, why are you saying like you're setting up a joke? Yeah. <laughs> like, through a cassette. <laughs> no, I mean, that, that, that was porn. <laughs> okay. You know, they got nicknames. I ain't gonna say no names, but <laughs> please don't. You <laughs> better not know the site. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> I, well, I don't know no more. I don't even know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. But... Yeah. Um, no, but it, it really damaged who you are. And when it comes to what is sacred, sex, sex is, is, is so sacred because 
you're taking the very thing of this person and they're allowing you to enter a space and to reach them at their place of weakness or at their place of being naked, you know, but porn just taught me there was no boundaries, you know, it, uh, it, 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 it taught right. me how to, what you felt like was respect, it was disrespect. Mm. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Because how sacred it is, as far as what I've learned today as the man that I am, how sacred it is to love someone, to choose someone, to, to meet the best of their needs as a whole, not just to disrespect them and make them feel like they're not valuable. That's how pornography messed up my life as, as a young person as far as, you know, growing up. You know, that's how I look at it. Yeah. Well, listen, listen, hold on. Because he brought up a point and I forgot about this. I'm going to read some statistics to y'all. And I'm going to get your feedback because if, if what you all are, all of y'all agree that it's damaging. But check this out. It says uh, what is known as porn, it, the numbers associated with pornography use and revenue from the industry are nothing short of astronomical. In fact, up to 99 percent of adult men and up to 80 percent of students surveyed report having watched pornography at some point. So if it's that damaging and 99 percent. Of, of men are watching it. How do you think it's impacting relationships and Ooh. family structure? You know, I think that one of the ways, probably many ways, one of the ways that it damages uh, relationship dynamics and family structure is that um, it creates an illusion of, of, uh, of a reality that's just, that's just not there. You know, one of the things that in our culture, um, in our world, is we, we, we value authenticity. We want to eat organic food. We want the real thing. And, and I think what's, what's crazy about pornography is that it's, it, what it is is, is a, a continuing to kind of implant in our minds a very fake reality of what sex is all about. Um, it's, not the, it's not the real thing. It's not authentic. That's not the actual experience. You get married. You kind of try to recreate what you've learned. Mm -hmm. and, and, it, and it hurts those kind of relationships. But then it, but then it al almost kind of get, gets us living in our own kind of illusion world. And I think even with, with regular relationships, we have friendships. Um, we, we, we have a, we have, we're less likely to, to want the real thing. And so, and so we, we're, we're less likely to care about being able to actually know someone and actually engage wow. with them and have a level of intimacy with them that goes beyond just what I can get from you in this moment. So I, I, think, I think it creates an illusion of reality that's not true. And I think that that actually affects all of our relationships, not just our sexual um, relationships with our, with our partners or with who we're married to. Wow, so. wow. Well, listen. That's 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 a big one, man. We we probably could talk about that one all segment because I even there's some studies that kids are starting as, as early as 12 and 14. It's the phones watching porn. Yeah, it's the phones. It's, it's like Instagram. Open, open oh, yeah. portal. It's pornography bro. On, on Instagram and social media. Yeah, you can be on TikTok it's in a, 15 it's a, it's seconds. Be, be it, it, may, it may be amateur porn, but it's porn. Yeah, and you can be, you can be on TikTok and be be rapping in 15 seconds. So let's not even forget about how desensitized we are to, to it. Come on now. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Now it's just it's just normal. It's, yeah. It's Porn's on it. Instagram. Yeah. Come on now. It's, it's yeah. daily. It's on our videos. Facebook. It's on our music yeah. videos. Yeah. yeah. But what yeah. about the family structure, though? Because that that is one thing that when we talk about our communities and a lot of the crime, because a, a lot of violent crime actually is sourced back to pornography. I don't know if y'all knew this or not. Yeah. A, lot, a lot of yeah. uh, the aggression and, and, and men, they found that it's, it's actually tied back to, to pornography. So it really impacts just more than just the sexual side, like you were saying, Melo. But, uh, yeah, just even the control. I mean, in that moment, it appears that these people engaging in, in what they're doing is, is it's a controlled setting. Mm -hmm. But if you go into, a, into reality as though you can control every dynamic of your life, um, it could do something to you. Because now what's happening is when you're not receiving that level of control you think you should be getting, it could produce a level of unhealthy aggression. Or if she's not meeting the expectations of uh, uh, Miss Whatever on, on the screen. That guy can Miss Whatever. You know her name. Yeah, I don't know her name. Don't call me. Yeah, he, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know you, lady. Yeah, not at all. Man, if, if, if my wife found out, her name will be Miss Dead. So, yeah, you know, that's, that's right. That's right. <laughs> so, that's listen, right. Uh, that was a good one, Fred. I appreciate it. Let's pass that thing along. Fred, got another question. Get on here on this side. Let's see what we got also in there, man. Ron, I'll go ahead and pass that over to you while I read this. 
Describe a time when you experienced prejudice or discrimination. Mm. Um, I remember one time back in college when we were living on the east side of town of Orlando. My cousin and I was going to the club and we was in this Cadillac DeVille. And we had just turned on Dean. You thought you were trick daddy. Huh? <laughs> Cadillac DeVille. <laughs> okay. You know, Trey love the kids. <laughs> God, let the, all right, let's get back. So when we made that right turn, it was green light. After we made that right turn, um, the police pulled us over. It was an undercover cop. And because, my bad, I'm sorry. Let, let me back up. We was coming from Walmart. And after we left Walmart or whatnot, we had to get, you know, the cups for the bottle. That's when Brandy and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. okay. So they pulled us over on Dean, the undercover cop. And because my cousin had a fur jacket and stuff, they assume that in the Cadillac DeVille fur jacket, he is a drug dealer. Wait, time out. He was driving with the fur jacket on? Uh-huh. No, driving. when he was leaving Walmart. In Florida? I guess they're watching him, yeah. <laughs> yeah he had a fur jacket yeah, on. But it was cold in, around that in time. In Walmart? It was cold. We was going to Roxy that night. Okay. In Central um, Florida, he had a... Okay. Yeah, but you okay. don't get cold in Orlando. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's, how, that's how I know it's cold. <laughs> Florida, <laughs> so... Okay. Defend your cousin. But, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> they, but they, <laughs> pull, they pulled us over saying that we made a right turn on a red light, but it was a green light. Mm. Undercover come. When the other undercover comes, then you have about nine police with a helicopter. Dang. Next thing you know, they were like, oh, y'all look like some suspects of drug dealers. This is what the guy says. So next thing you know, they pull us out of the car. They're like, can we search the car? My cousin Waz said, no. We don't do no names. Yeah. They don't know. They don't know. <laughs> we'll they don't keep know the identity. Yeah, they don't know who he is. <laughs> but, but, you know, how they, how they picked us out was just crazy. So because of the clothes and the car, we look like drug dealers. Oh, okay. And he had dreads. So now, you know, around that time, it was like crazy. So, but this is the crazy part. One of the cops came. Thank God that my eyes was looking. He dropped something in the back while I was sitting. They tried to set you up. Try to set us up. I said, yo, what you doing? Mm. He said, oh, um, I said, yeah, you trying to put that right there. Wow. I said, you trying to put that on him. So that was the time we experienced wow. and you know what? that situation. That's crazy, so, bro. That's crazy you mentioned that because when I and I and I run down, T, you mentioned something similar because you, you ain't always look, you know, you ain't always had a fade. You you actually oh, used nah. to rock the rock the, the, the locks had, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I had locks and I often time than none. Um I used to get pulled over as well, and not only that, I used to get approached and somebody would ask me, Do I serve or do I sell weed all the time? Of course you sell weed. You got dreadlocks. Yeah. Nah, that wasn't the case. <laughs> yeah. um, I was you know, just a regular college student. And they're just in the area and all the time, you know, the Caucasian kids even, that was the most ones, the most popular ones that were asking, yeah. do I sell weed? Do I sell any type of drug? Yeah. And I took offense to that. And I literally just a snap on them. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, for real. Yeah. I, oh, man, I used to let them have it. Oh, wow. That was my time. That was, I had to get it off my chest Yeah. because I, it just kept happening so much. Not only that, when I was in Walmart one time, when I was in college, not Walmart, I was in Walgreens, I went to go get some um, medication, but I paid for it at the door. I didn't get a bag. I put the receipt in my pocket. So I'm in a rush, leaving out of there, and a dude stopped me. He didn't even see me go to the counter and pay for nothing. He stopped me automatically thought I was stealing. Wow. And that's when I had dreads. Wow. So that's crazy. It's, I've been through a lot with, with, with that whole shebang i i never forget man i i, I move into we moved my wife and i moved to our, our home and it's a nice home in a nice neighborhood and we were painting before you move in to make it easier right and so i'm there painting one day and this lady come knock on the door and so i answer the door i can help you ma'am she says oh no you painter i want to speak to owner <laughs> <laughs> bruh <laughs> I looked at her and said, ma'am, I'm the painter and the owner. What do you want? <laughs> uh, what you want? She wanted a flower bed or something. But yeah, the point yeah, is, yeah. it's crazy, bro. You, yeah, you, crazy, you live man. in a nice neighborhood, nice house, good yeah. house. And she thought like, she was nah, you must it. be the painter because ain't no way you can afford it. Right. She thought you were there to do what? Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I guess, yeah, you're right, man. We, we do, there's a lot of that stuff that kind of goes around. Anyone else had one? But Ramsey, I think you and your cousin was getting escorted to Roxy's with that coat on. <laughs> <laughs> My thing was, and I want I ain't wanna, you know, break up the whole thing that was going. Was you ride with Frank Lucas? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. You, no. you ride, you ride hey. he did it. Bro. He did it. Hey. 
Hey, Dub knew my cousin, so yeah. they had dreads. Yeah, yeah. You know, they had long dreads. Nah, so bro, fly, it, bro, was, fly, it, it was one of them, because it was a lot of us. Don't worry, he was going to fly around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, first Fridays at Roxy during that time. Okay, okay, we're going to move on on that note. Fred, Fred, what else we got? Oh. Last one, no, last this, one. This, this is going to be good. What is the most annoying myths about black men? Ah. T, I, I think you uh, said this multiple <laughs> times. So go ahead and tell us uh, the most more annoying myth. The most annoying myth. You got one? What is it? Black men don't do what? All black men don't cheat. <laughs> oh, that's okay. a myth? Nah. <laughs> wow. Hey, hey you, stay, you, stay, you stand by that, bro? I'm not standing by that. I'm not messing with Ron, man. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, was, that was just a joke. It is a myth, it, though. It, it is what it is. You know, what else? Go ahead. Who, we all had another one? Another myth? Because I, I asked some people this question, so I, I go, but you got one Yeah, I mean, you know, one of the things that I think people uh, assume is that I, I, I either love sports or can play. Oh, are you fast? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you yeah, fast. So, 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 uh, one of the ways I, I disappoint people, you know, maybe you at the park, you chilling. You run cross country. No, I'm just chilling. Let's say I got this some basketball man. shorts. I'm, I'm just chilling, you know, and, and they, 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 they picking teams and I'm not playing. But one guy's gone and they're like, man, we need somebody else. Hey, 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 bro. Hey, hey, come, come on. Come. I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, bro. I'm, I I'm bet good. he can shoot. I'm I'm good. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can do come something. On, man. You can shoot. You can shoot, man. I'm like, trust me. Like, I, I can't. I can't. So I get in there anyway. Then like within the first five seconds, man, they're like, hey, get this man about the, uh, off the court, <laughs> man. So, yeah, I, I, I've never watched a, a football game, a, a full basketball game, any sports show ever. We need to check his temperature. Yeah, you broke yeah, the mold, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. That, that's what we're talking about with culture. Like, if you get with a, a, a female that likes sports, then, you know, that's already something my that's wife, not... my, my wife is the other way around. She watches sports. She's a huge basketball fan. She used to play basketball. So, so it's kind of the so other way will, around. So she will beat you in one-on-one? Easily. Like, loving basketball? Pregnant. Easily. Oh, wow, Pregnant. She, she, used to, she literally would beat me while I would have, like, my first, my first child would be in the gym, and she would just... That home is out of order. So she gave you that, home, that home is out of order, bro. Yeah, we, 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 right. we, we got to work, work on that. that. Pray for, pray for that. a brother. All right, any, any more Sounds like abuse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like an abuse of This is a cry for help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any other myth? Any um, other myth? Any other myth? I, I got one. I asked somebody, um, we were talking about just black men in general and, and myths, and this is probably, y'all can probably laugh, but I got to ask y'all, can, is it true that a lot of us can't swim? How many of y'all up here can't swim? Be, be for real. I, I can swim. One out of five black men cannot swim. <laughs> one out of five. That's the statistic. That's the statistic we're going with. That's how they get. That's how they get. That's how they get. Yeah. 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 So Melo, you can't swim. Everybody else can swim. Yeah, I can swim. I'm, I'm not Michael. So Phil. wait. So hold, hold, hold on. When we say swim, what, 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 what are we talking about? Not, not survive. We ain't talking. We push yeah, you. We, we ain't talking, talking about. about the ocean. We talking about surviving. We talking about. So you swim. can actually see. I ain't never been past my knees in the ocean. I, oh, I, I, oh, I'll okay. never do that. Really? I'll never do that. So no, you no, scared no, no. and can't swim. I can't even see through the water. I gotta be able to see through my gotta water. Gotta be able wow. to see the water. Peter, you wanna make it off the boat? Oh no. Oh yeah. No 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 no. And that brings us back to slavery. All right, y'all. That's it for this episode. Fred, I appreciate you, man. That was some good questions yeah, we got there, man. So we're going to keep it moving. Uh, make sure you don't miss the next episode as we continue this conversation. Real men having real conversation. Black caution. Hey, listen, thank you so much for watching. Before you leave, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss an episode. We want you to participate in this real conversation, all right? So we'll see you next time. Black caution. <laughs>